Hi guys, it's Mike White with Baby Monkey Studios with just a quick XCart 5 tip for you guys. Well, first of all, importing and exporting in XCart 5 seems to be super easy. And uh, you can import and export categories, uh, you can import and export products, and I think you can do all, both at the same time. Uh, here we're looking at a spreadsheet that I've been working on, and I'm just doing a test. I've removed all the, the categories and products from a store except for one category and one product and I've gone to the import and export section and first of all let's just look at here's the uh, CSV file that I exported let's just look at the export section look at these easy simple check boxes uh, you know I want products product attribute values categories um, export public files as URLs that's just uh, do you want the uh, files that are linked to a product like image and things like that to just be the URL uh, where it is online or do you want it to actually export to go out and grab those files and bundle them up and wrap them with your uh, with your export just it's it's fabulous I really like it compared to export 4 this is uh, just worlds above all right, so you know I've shown you how I exported this. I just exported categories, and I got this simple spreadsheet here. And at first, it only had lines three and four on it, and I have just copied and pasted. I created this brand one. I'm doing brands and models for a client, um, and you know it's enabled. Show title. Not sure what that means yet. We'll learn about that. Uh, I've I've just changed the. I took off the image links. I don't have any images for these yet. It's just a test. Change the clean URL. Change the name. Change the description. And I've got uh, the brand. And then I've got two subcategories, which are model one and model two. All right. Let's see how it imports. So we'll just pop over here. Go to import. We'll choose our file. There it is. We'll open it. And we will start import. I have heard people say that, you know, it, it tends to hang when you're importing really large files. Uh, I haven't had that yet happen yet to me simply because I'm just dealing with uh, very simple um, stuff here and I've, I've got some display issues going on on this side just ignore that but it, you see brand one we go into edit we look at subcategories for brand one and there's model one and model two these display issues are something with xcart 514 it's no big deal i'm just running on a windows host and it's working for me so anyway that's import and export and uh it, it's really super simple i just wanted to show that off to everybody all right, have a great day.